Hi, I'm Lou. And I'm Lexi. And we're going to show you how to install a septic system. Solids and liquids come out of your house into the septic tank, and there's bacteria in here that turns it into mostly liquids, but some solids stay in the bottom and have to be pumped out maybe every 15 to 20 years. Only liquids come out of here to the distribution box, which simply makes sure that there's equal distribution on all these output pipes. These are called the laterals where the final liquid soaks into your ground. These have to be level in this direction. In other words, they can't be tipped this way or this way, but they can actually be tipped this way. And finally, to keep this area fairly dry of rainwater, a perimeter drain goes all the way around here and down to a drain. I hired this soil scientist. He got this soil survey. I put together a septic plan and then I called 811 to locate a gas line, put the septic tank up by the house, distribution box, laterals, and a perimeter drain. I got a parts list from a septic company and sent everything to the county health department and got this permit. Since it's a three bedroom house, they required a 1250 gallon septic tank, 500 lineal feet of trench with a width of 36 inches and a 24 inch depth. Perimeter drain 60 inches deep, 10 feet away from the laterals on all sides. So here's the whole thing mapped out on the ground. The perimeter drain is gonna start right here and go all the way around the whole thing. And then we've got six laterals, two, three, four, five, six, and they're gonna go 84 feet that way. Final drain way down there at that concrete post. I've got a spinning laser level set up here and the sensor on the stick of my excavator that beeps when I'm right on. Our perimeter drain is all dug out all the way around and ends up in this concrete box in that hole right there. We want a critter guard to keep animals out of our drain pipe and normally they are like this and you bolt them into a plastic pipe. Instead, we're gonna use this trash cage. We'll get the job done. View from inside the trench. So here's our slotted pipe coming around the corner and right there we have an inspection pipe so they can check the depth. The gravel. Our entire trench is filled up with septic stone. This last 10 inches or so is going to be dirt so we can grow grass. Fabric goes over your gravel to keep the dirt from soaking through. We got final smoothing going on and the perimeter drain is all in. By the way, the main reason we picked this spot is it's fairly flat here for the laterals and then drops off significantly for the drain. Our septic tank is 5 by 14, so we're going to dig a hole right there about a foot bigger all the way around. We're leveling out the bottom of our pit and we're about to put the tank in. There's our septic tank in and perfectly level. Here we are on the inlet side of the tank. I put a grommet for a Schedule 40 pipe. I tapered the end and put some liquid soap on there to help it slide in better. Our Schedule 43 inch comes out of the house, gets adapted to a Schedule 44 inch to the septic tank there. This should be sloped down about an inch every four feet. So I put an inch block under my level and went for level. Same thing on this shorter leg of the run into the tank. And I put a Y here instead of a 45 in case I ever want to add on more. Finally, on the very end in the inside of the tank, this is called a T-baffle. Here on the output side, some jurisdictions allow that same T-baffle, but ours requires a filter. So we glue on that little adapter and then finally the filter. Beyond this, we use SDR 35 4 inch sewer pipe. This is a line that comes from the septic tank all the way out to the distribution box. And on this stuff, you just need to make sure that it's leaning that way so the bubble is uphill. We're gonna cover this all up, but I'll leave this pipe here so the county can measure my slope. I brought Pat in to dig the laterals. This guy can frost a cake with an excavator. We're using septic chambers for our laterals and they just go in and require no stone. The other option is to use slotted pipe like we did in our perimeter drain and put a bunch of gravel in there too. This is more expensive, but a lot faster. Break the splash guard off the start cap and stick it on right there. And install it right here. The excavator does this and we use a flat shovel to clean it up before we put in our chambers. We're just laying these in one right after the other and make sure each one is exactly level. One of six laterals done. Finish with an end cap. We use dirt from the second trench to cover the first one. That's on the digger and Lex is on the laser. This glassy smooth finish is called smear and does not absorb well. You really want more of a crumbly dig like that. It's inevitable to get some of that on the side, but if you've got a lot of that on the bottom, your ground is too wet to dig. 
We got the D-Box leveled both ways here and here. So we're coming into the D-Box there, into that input hole. It's really important that you maintain at least a slight downward slope on all these output pipes. So this, for instance, is sloped down and I've got a block here. And way down here at the other end, I've got blocks here so that I have a downward slope there and there. All the pipes are in and you want to double check that your pitch is bubble uphill. I did that every five feet or so to make sure we're all flowing down and out. These are called speed levelers and they go into all your output pipes. Fill your D-box with water up to the holes in the levelers. Find the highest hole above the water, which in our case is this one. It's about an eighth inch above and these two are sitting right on the water. We're going to twist these until they're an eighth inch above the water, just like that one. Now these two are about the same as that one and I did the same thing all the way around. So now when effluent comes in from the septic tank, it'll be distributed evenly to all the laterals. We don't want the water to come shooting out of here too fast and mess up the distribution. So we're gonna put a down angle on it like this and then a hole on top for a vacuum break. Have a pail of water available so the county can verify your work. We just passed the county inspection and we're gonna fill it back in. I put rock under these pipes so they wouldn't bend down when I fill it with dirt. Also, I took the lid, put a riser under it so it's gonna be closer to ground level. And lastly, I'm filling this thing with water so it doesn't pop up when there's a lot of rain. The septic tank is all covered up as well as the D-box and all the piping. You want to leave the laterals humped up until you get about three inches of rain to pack them down. Thanks for watching.